Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's Poundland haul. I'm so excited to do this um, video for you guys because I love Poundland. I go in there like probably once a week just to get like essentials but today I thought I would go in and do a bit of a shop. Easter's coming up so I saw loads of like Easter eggs in there and I also saw loads of like Easter bonnet things but I didn't get that today because I thought the boys could go in and choose things because I know that would make them very happy. So anyway, I thought I'd just show you guys what's new in there and what I got. So anyway, let's get straight into it. I'm gonna start with the really boring stuff. Toilet paper. I got nine rolls of toilet paper. These were two pounds. So I bought these the other day and um, I thought, oh, it's probably gonna be really bad toilet paper, but I was just desperate for toilet paper. I was in the pound shop anyway, so I thought I'd just try it. Guys, they're really good. They're really soft. They're not like sandpaper, I promise. And for two pounds, usually I buy these in Tesco's and they're about 3 35 for nine rolls. But these ones are so much cheaper and I promise you, you will also love them too. On the same lines, I got some kitchen roll, three rolls of kitchen roll for one pound. I think those toilet rolls, the only thing that I bought today that were two pounds. Yeah, pretty sure. So yeah, one pound for those, so that's a right bargain. I got some grease proof paper. I can never say that, grease proof, grease proof paper. Grease proof paper. This is what I use whenever I like cook sausages or anything like that, I always lay this down first because I find my sausages and things get really stuck onto the bottom of the dish. So if I put some of this down, it really doesn't happen. So yeah, that's what I use this for a lot and any kind of baking that we do with the kids and stuff like that. So I just ran out yesterday. So when I was in there, I thought, oh, I definitely need to get one of those. Then I'm gonna show you my Easter eggs, guys. These were all one pound, and we like to, every single Easter, we like to do like a little treasure hunt for the kids. We give them a bowl each, and we leave like a trail from their bedrooms down to all the different Easter eggs. This year, we're gonna be in France for Easter, and Rory was like terrified that the Easter bunny wouldn't know where we were, so he kept saying, I don't wanna to go to France, I don't wanna to go to France. And I finally got it out of him that it was because he thought the Easter Bunny would leave all his chocolates here and because Chris is staying like behind here, he was scared that Chris would eat all of his Easter eggs. So I had to reassure him that I was gonna write to the Easter Bunny and the Easter Bunny would know that we were in France. So yeah, I got a Kit Kat Chunky Easter Egg. I got a Rolo Easter Egg. I mean, those are both like my favorites. I got some mini chocolate eggs, which are just like mini eggs and um, don't actually know how much mini eggs are to buy, but yeah, those are a pound. I got these three little emoji eggs. So let's have a look inside actually. Oh, they just got like different emoji faces on them, which I thought was quite cute. Yeah, that one's like that. And this last one is like that. Oh no, this one's squashed. I might have to eat that. I also don't have three kids, so I can't just give like one an extra one, so I might just have to eat that myself. And then I got this bag of smaller eggs, which I will do my trail with, along with my mini eggs. And you get, how many do you get in here? 10. You get, yeah. Doesn't say, but I just counted. You get 10 little eggs. That's 10 P an egg. That's really good. So those are my um, like chocolate buys. I might go on to my dog food buys now. I got two bags of like treat dog food for Lulu. She loves these so much. One is by Pedigree. Oh no, they're both by Pedigree. This is like, like long sticky kind of things. And these are just little tasty bites. Then, as I've given up chocolate and sweets for Lent, I bought myself some shortbread. This is my favorite biscuit ever. I love a shortbread, and especially because I can't have chocolate or sweets, this is like amazing. Cup of tea or a cup of coffee with a shortbread. Especially these Patterson's ones are so good. Um, right, what I like is when I'm on Instagram stories and I see people and they do like funky writing on their Instagram story, I've tried to do it with my fat finger, it just doesn't work. So when I was in the pound shop, I saw these like stylus pens. So you get two pens, um, one actually attaches to your phone, which is really cool. So I need two because I'm 
a bit of like someone who loses stuff quite a lot. So I'm really excited to use my Instagram. So for those of you who don't follow me, then go over and follow me because you'll be seeing me writing stuff in a fancy way a lot. Next up, I got some fairy. I got some new shampoo and conditioner. I told you guys about this from the pound shop before. This is um keratin conditioner and an argan oil shampoo. So I've always said that I don't feel like my hair deserves to have like loads of pounds spent on it. So I tried out this um, argan oil range and this keratin range and I really, really liked it. So I've got these and I've also got the oils that I use in my hair, which I bought like ages ago and they just last for so long. So I would say this conditioner doesn't leave my hair like as silky as other conditioners do, but I prefer that because my hair needs a bit of kind of texture for it to hold any style. So I really like this shampoo and conditioner because that's what it does to me. But if you're after the silky kind of finish, then these probably aren't for you. I got this Nivea Indulgent Moisturizer in coconut flavor. I love this. Coconut reminds me of holiday. As we've got a holiday coming up soon, I saw this and I thought I'm gonna buy it because I wanna feel like holiday. I got some Sif floor cleaner. I got, right. How cool is this? This is like a holiday travel pack of bottles. So you get five bottles, one with a spray, three just with like screw top lids, and one with a pump lid. These are great for taking away any creams, face creams. You know when you have to have like a 100 mil limit, these are really great. And you get five things for one pound. I have bought these before in Primark and they were a lot more than one pound. So these are gonna be used a lot. And then I can just put some like sticky stuff on here and write what it is with a marker pen. So really pleased I found these today. I bought this, this is in like the Mother's Day range. So this is just like a glass container that I thought would be really nice to put jewelry in here or um, like cotton pads or blah. <laughs> hair ties, things like that. I thought that was a really sweet thing and it looks so much more than a pound. It kind of goes with another range that I've got in my house, like my vintage kind of looking thing. So that's what I got to go with this. Now I was so excited when I got home from the pound shop that I put my flowers in there straight away. Have a look at this pink vase. How amazing is that? I absolutely love it. And it's got like embossed flowers all over it. One pound guys, and look how cute it looks with these flowers in there. I love it so much. I'm so pleased with that, but literally couldn't wait until I got home to put my flowers in. Next up, we're gonna go to the garden range. I bought some seeds for the, like grass seeds for the garden. Oh look, I just found some more egg stuff. This is the like, the eggs that you spoon out the center. Kids are gonna love that. I bought these. These are solar panel little light bulbs that you string up outside. And um, when it goes dark, they light up. So like I try and put them all along my fence panel and it just makes my garden look really pretty at nighttime. So they just charge up here with the sun. Now what you need to do, I didn't realize before, but you have to unscrew this and there's a little switch in here that you switch on and then it starts charging. Don't be like me, what I did last year and I thought they didn't work and then someone came around and said, no, you've got to turn them on. You've got to turn them on, guys. Right, lastly, I wanted to show you this little mug that I got. It says, I get so excited I wet my plants. I thought that was a really nice little thing to keep next to my um, sink so it reminds me to water my flowers because I'm really bad at remembering to water my plants and I look at them and then I think why are they looking so sad and I think oh my gosh I touched the soil and it's like bone dry so I thought that was a really sweet thing to just keep next to the sink to remind me to always water my flowers that's it that is what I bought at the pound shop today so I hope you guys enjoyed my little haul and I hope it showed you what's new in Poundland at the moment I would definitely recommend these guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time bye